What's going on, family? Peace and blessings, inshallah. Inshallah. All right. It's just my sweater. My sweater is dirty. Whatever. All right. So yesterday I dropped a video speaking about white Jesus, right? And his name is Caesar Borgia, right? Uh, I dropped that video yesterday. Today I'm going to be speaking about the real Jesus. You know, um, what is Jesus real? Is Jesus real? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> or is he just a made up fictional character? In today's video, I'm going to be clearing up everything, everything for you and giving you the answers that you need to give you clarity in your own life. And, you know, just so that you're grounded, because when you know the truth, you're grounded. And um, I'm here to give you guys the truth, right? So, is Jesus a real person? The answer, and first and foremost, I just want y'all to see I'm out here in nature, man. I mean, I'm not outside, outside, but I got nature all around me. I feel the sun's energy, and I feel great. So, is Jesus a real person, right? Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Jesus, the story of Jesus is made up. Okay. It's an allegorical story. The Bible is an allegorical book. It's not, it's not a real story. It didn't really happen. Okay. The Bible actually takes its stories from ancient comedic uh, teachings. The story of Horus helps to create the story of Jesus. And there's another religion that takes, um, I'm sorry, Christianity took its story from another religion as well, okay? Now I'm not bashing Christianity because I follow the Bible. My bad family, my phone just cut off. I'm smelling this weird smell, bro. I, it smells like shit in here, I'll be honest with you. I think it's because I just walked my cousin's dog and I might have like stepped in something, but anyway. Anyway, um, we out here, my window's open, I'm chilling. So, as I was saying, I follow the Bible very closely. I love the Bible. Trust me, the Bible has given me so much instruction and this is the point of this video. So, um, the actual story of Jesus in the Bible is not a real story, okay? It's not a real story. However, is there truth in the Bible about the universe? Absolutely. The Bible gives you so much guidance for the universe that if you follow it, you will be saved in this life. I promise you. You know, just one of my favorite quotes from the Bible said that Jesus, or even, I mean, this isn't word for word, but essentially it's a uh, passage from the Bible that says, even Jesus had haters. You feel me? The Bible has a lot of truth inside of it. So just because the story of Jesus isn't perfect, isn't real, is still something that we should follow. And that brings us to my next point. Jesus is more of like a spiritual figure that we should follow. You feel me? The, the, the color of Jesus doesn't matter. Um, it does matter because I'm going to be completely honest with you. It matters because we need to know who's the closest to God. We need to know those who are the most connected to God. I'm going to be honest with you. So what they did was they completely took racism and turned it upside down, right? Where they said the whites at the top, Spanish, and then, well, it's like basically whites and then Spanish and black, right? Whites at the top. Be honest with you, flip it upside down and that's the realist real. Okay, we are the organic ones. So, um, sticking to the point of the video, Jesus is something that we should follow within. You feel me? Jesus is something that we should internally follow. 
live life like Jesus. What would Jesus do? You know what I'm saying? When things happen, what would Jesus do? Did Jesus curse people? No, right? Jesus did hate people, but he didn't spend his time cursing people. He spent his time healing others. And that's what we should do. We should spend our time healing other people, helping other people to grow. That's why I believe we're here on this planet is to create and to spread love and share love with other people. Create love, you know, create, just create art. Everything is art. So as long as you're creating, you're loving. So again, is Jesus real? Not really. However, you know, just like you read a book, like rich dad, poor dad, right? You read a book about Jesus and you learn about Jesus and you follow the way that book taught about Jesus or um, just follow, you know, Jesus's way of life. That's what I do. And it's brought me a lot of happiness, you know? Um, not cursing other people is super important. That's something that a lot of people do today. Um, you know, not putting bad spirits on other people um, yeah, family, you know, I pretty much covered the topic of this video today, which is, is Jesus real? And the answer is yes and no. Okay. So, um, I think that wraps it up for today. You know, I love talking to you guys. So I could be here all day, but I'm a tune out here. Is Jesus real? Yes and no. And now you guys know the truest truth. Okay. And if you want to do some more research about the story of Jesus, look up the black version. The black, the black version of the Bible is basically ancient Kemet. And um, learn about the story of Horus, H-O-R-U-S. Okay, that is one of the first because, like I said, the Bible uses many different religions, stories to create the Bible. So Horus is one of those stories. I don't remember the other religions, um, but H-O-R-U-S, that's how you spell his name. Ancient Kemet, learn about Ancient Kemet if you want to learn about the truth. Most people never even heard of Ancient Kemet before because they don't teach you about this stuff. Ancient Kemet, which is basically ancient Egypt, you know what I'm saying? This is before, you know, white people came and destroyed everything. This is when... We were really living in peace. We were eating grass. You know what I'm saying? We are on a much higher dimension than the, the frequency we're vibrating on now. You know, people walk around with copper. You know what I'm saying? People not making fun of people. Actually, you know, there's there was like, it wasn't all perfect back in the day. Like there was envy. You know, Horace had a brother named Seth. He was very envious. And um, yeah, you'll see your resemblances, but... Definitely, if you want to get back to the truth, tap into ancient Kemet. The smartest people I know know all about ancient Kemet. And it's like, why should you learn about these things? Because if you want to be grounded, if you want to actually be smart, you need to know what the truth is. And then you can build your story. So learn about the truth, family. Much love. Inshallah. Catch you on the next one. Deuces. Peace.